What up, you guys? Where do I start? Uh, first of all, okay, so my day one video did really good, right? And my day two video, the quality was so horrible. I don't know if that's why I didn't do that good. I mean, there's no way you can tell like what happened without watching it. So I don't know what that was about, but I'm sorry if you watched my day two video. Uh, it was really freaking bad quality. I did not know the front facing camera on this iPhone was so bad. Um, so I will never use that thing again to put it on YouTube. So by the time you watched that video, like I said, it literally uploaded in 40 p and even uploaded in HD my video the day two. I was like, that's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so today is Thursday. We are technically on day four. But that being said, so all that crap happened. And day three, I recorded a lot in the uh, horizontal in the front face camera. And honestly, I just did not even want to use that video. And then, plus, when I did my workout yesterday, I did biceps and triceps and forearms. I realized the freaking camera GoPro was on, uh, was on <sighs> pictures, not freaking videos. So, three of the uh, lifts I did to show y'all didn't even record, so. I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna chuck Wednesday and just learn for Tuesday. Do not use the front face camera anymore. Uh, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna set my GoPro and just start going full thing with this iPhone. Uh, it works pretty good in vertical mode using the rear camera. Uh, if y'all didn't know, you got it from my other previous videos. Uh, I'm a Droid guy, which is so I have a Galaxy S22 Ultra. And so I just bought this iPhone basically as a business phone or a work phone, whatever you want to call it. So I wasn't really too worried about anything. Like it's the iPhone SE, I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest iPhone you can get. Uh, it works good for what I need it for, but uh, like I said, the rear camera isn't bad, but that front camera, I did not know it was that bad. And I knew technically it would put it like in that small form on YouTube, but I still didn't think it would be that bad. Like it literally had like half of my face freaking, <laughs> that was so, that was that's horrible quality, so if y'all watch day two, I'm sorry for that horrible quality, but that should not happen again, so anyways, we are really tight on time today, <sighs> things in life happens, if y'all didn't know, I have a daughter, she's four, we had a thing this morning, it is 8 o'clock right now, 8 a.m., uh, I got up at like 5.30 to take her to a hospital thing, turned out, couldn't even do it, blah, 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 what it sounds like, they're going to want us to go like an hour away to do an overnight stay to do what we need to do. So that's going to throw a wrench in it when that time comes. We'll figure it out. Um, life happens. But yeah, with that being said, I just need to get to work. And I'm going to try to get some kind of workout in. And obviously, I'm not bragging. But like I said, I have more muscle than most people. So I'm not too worried about the lifting like right now. But you do want to lift. I was going to tell y'all, y'all do want to lift if you're trying to lose weight. I don't know why anybody would recommend y'all not to because if you don't lift, you're going to have a skinny fat build, what they call it. It's probably not what you're looking for. Like, yeah, you're going to lose weight and be skinny, but you're going to have to just look flabby. You're going to have no definition, no muscle. So lifting is very important. But uh, like I said, this week, I'm just trying to get back into it. Trying to, I'm still sore as crap, I swear. And uh, I just really need to do the eating right and the cardio is the main thing that I need like right now to get the body fat off uh, but you want to lift it like I said if you don't you're going to have a skinny fat build it's probably not what you want I don't want that so uh, I was going to hit shoulders and legs today I guess we're just going to hit that tomorrow uh, usually Fridays I just do I call it my favorite day to do what I want uh, hit, always hit chest so we'll probably hit chest, legs and shoulders tomorrow and the weekend I don't know yet definitely taking it off of the gym but I think I'm going to leash hoop or walk so I can still make a video a little bit I guess um, y'all might not be the most keen on cheat meals but I'm thinking about
about having a cheat meal on Saturday. Um, the wait for the week, I figure I'll update y'all real quick. Like I said, on Monday, so Tuesday morning, we started on Monday, so Tuesday morning, on the scale, I lost six pounds. And then Wednesday morning, I lost 0 0.4. And this morning, I was down another 0 0.2. So, we're doing good. Like I said, I think I'm gonna have a little cheat meal. I'll let y'all know about that if I do. I know there's a lot of controversy on cheat meals, but I think you should reward yourself with a little something to keep yourself level-headed. Um, we're being real on this channel, so let's be honest with y'all. And like I said, that's what I'm saying. To keep yourself level-headed uh, so you don't do what I'm about to say. Uh, I have suffered a lot in the past from binge eating disorder. If you don't know what it is, it basically where you eat tons of food. And uh, to be honest with y'all, I have kind of suffered a lot from bulimia. If you don't know what that is, it kind of goes with the binge eating. Basically, you'll eat a ton of freaking food and then throw it up on purpose telling y'all that, but I have beaten that basically. Definitely believe me. I definitely did not throw on my purpose. Um, I struggled with that for like a year, year and a half, to be honest with y'all. Maybe two years. I don't know. I struggled with it for a while, but I finally just had to stop. If you don't know, first of all, anybody suffering from bulimia, you know, like, try to get help because you can get throat cancer from the stomach acid eating your esophagus up, basically. And it will ruin your teeth too. The stomach acid will eat the enamel off your teeth and ruin it. So, if you're suffering from bulimia, you really, really, really need to get help. Um, I somehow beat it by myself. You might not be able to. You might need help. I just don't, I don't even know exactly where you go for help. Luckily, I could do it by myself. But um, if you can't, just try to find help. But, anyways, so with all that being said, like I said, I'm not going to live today. I'm just going to go play basketball for about. 40 minutes and uh yeah i just really need to do some cardio um and y'all know i put my bloopers i was gonna say real quick y'all know i put bloopers on my thing <coughs> uh tuesday i was missing all kinds of shots i have no reason to lie but i swear to y'all yesterday i hit like out of 43s i hit like 20 like bro them shots were getting wet and hitting like my shot was hitting and i was like yo why you got this on camera but bro it was dead serious hitting, so my shot's slightly coming back. So uh, we're going to keep working on that. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if y'all from my previous niche, there's nobody in the gig game. When I get in shape, I would run anybody in the gig game in the ones in basketball. So let me get back in shape. And uh, I said, I'm pretty decent. I'm not. I'm pretty good at basketball, really. But Now, there's some YouTube hoopers, though, that would smoke my ass, honestly. Uh, I don't know if y'all watch it, but like Chris White, Devontae Fruka, Nelly Chan, shout out to my guy. It's one of my favorites, but uh, they're really good. I'm pretty good. I just got to get in shape. So. Sorry for the long, long intro. We're about to go hoop for about 40, 45 minutes and then go to work. And uh, so We're going to eat burgers today. Like I said, I always do carbless burgers. Just meat, cheese only, no bun, no nothing. Maybe a dab of ketchup. And juice of like 700. 600 calories depending on what percent meat you get and uh, stuff like that. So anyways, I'm going to shoot some hoops, hopefully get some good shots and uh, check on y'all in a little bit. Hey, what's up y'all?
up, guys? I don't know if y'all can hear me. It's my GoPro. Grab my iPhone. Post basketball sweat. Oh, you tell. I didn't think I was gonna sweat that hard at first, like the first 15 minutes. Um, played about 40 minutes, but I didn't record a ton because I'm sure y'all saw like girls in there. So try to warm up and then bring it out. Like, I don't know. Sometimes it's just weird filming. Um, but yeah, super tired. I literally have like no legs. Like, I just wanna fall on the floor when I'm out there. I'm mean, really right now, but especially when I'm hooping, like, I got no legs right now to do any jump shots like I'm doing them, but it's not where I need to be, but he'll come back. It's what you do to get better, so hopefully y'all can hear me. I take a shower, head to work, and uh, catch up with y'all when I eat something. What up, you guys? Finally checking in with y'all with something I'm about to eat. Uh, what I was going to tell y'all, though, like, yeah, I said I might stay busy, but that's one problem I kind of run into. Sometimes my job is not that busy, and that's when I feel like going to fast food or whatever, but I'm serious. Putting this on YouTube, I don't know why. I'm not even going to think about it, question it, whatever. Like, it's really helped me lock in. I don't know, I know it's only been four days, but we've been locked in, so starting to feel a little bit better, starting to feel better, confident, whatever, blah, blah, like, it's just good. So anyways, I ate two of these yesterday, which I told you yesterday's video got screwed up, but it's uh, 140 calories, five grams of protein, which is crazy, it's only five grams of protein. But I just really, 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 really like these. It's not really the best choice, because there's not a lot of volume, <clears throat> but I haven't really ate anything today, so it'll be okay. But I'm gonna do that. And this again, y'all know I ate apples and the other day. So I try to, oh my gosh, it's about to drink. I try to throw healthy choices in there when I can, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, we already have lost like six and a half pounds this week since Monday, so I'm doing all right. But I'm gonna eat one third of these two for 140 calories, so that will put us at like 450. Um, but yeah. Checking with y'all in a little bit. What up, you guys? Checking in with y'all. Finally eating dinner. Um, and this is kind of annoying. Um, so just two burgers. Uh, the nutrition should be on the screen, but that's what I'm using season it. Should be about um, this cheese, too. I'm gonna use a slice each. I think it's about 750 calories. So the calories should be on the screen on top of my head. I think I put this at like right around 1200. So yeah, I'm not sure about the protein. Uh, I should put the protein number. I'll just do it in my head. Not even gonna be perfect, but should be around like 100 grams of protein. So not really enough, but it's all good. So. That's our day. Uh, so we keep grinding and hopefully it keeps falling off. Uh, keep going good, you know. Been doing pretty good. I just always feel like I'm not doing enough, you know. Uh, but it'll be all right. Hopefully in 30 days or 60 days. Should have a pretty good check in. So appreciate y'all and I will see y'all tomorrow.